The future me a wani ono nyafo Aaron Michael Okwe wakasa me mu no wade atu e jase mrashebe da fo maku maku edu ene nyuma e fo enum o monsu e juma mrashebe da fiyeno wamutu kwa nanu ya eno masa ababe du fiya sumjie mu na ya so wa monsa mon karanta wa mwa 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 Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, it's important that Parliament should explain a few things about the present problem we are having all as a people globally with regard to this malady. Um, and we deemed it necessary to share a few things with you. Some of the measures we have taken to curb Possible spread of the virus include the circulation of notices of current information on the disease at all vantage points, the installation of sanitizers all over Parliament House, wearing of protective masks by all members of parliamentary staff, visitors to the chamber, members of parliament, and all others as it may be found necessary. The taking of temperature of MPs, staff, and the media at various points in the building, especially entry points. There is a mandatory self-quarantine of MPs and staff who have traveled outside the country or who are returning to the country a number of our people went abroad to do very legitimate business, but the circumstances of the time are such that as they return, we need to take certain measures. They are not punitive. They are protective of themselves, their families, and parliament, and its guests, and workers, and members as a whole. As we are speaking now, 10 members of parliament who travel abroad in these circumstances have been asked to stay in self-isolation for the mandatory number of days. Five members of staff who also went abroad and came back have been asked to do the same. This is for the protection of all the people here and the unsuspecting members of the public who may also happen to visit the premises for the genuine business that they have. So this mandatory self-quarantine of MPs and staff are uh, in operation right now. We have also in the interim advised all members of parliament to sit two seats away from each other so that we we'll give ourselves some space. As you know, people are required by WHO regulations, et cetera, not to sit too close to each other, even family members. And we all have to obey in the interest of the public as a whole. So we require your cooperation and also the determination of all our people so that what we've got to do